How's it going, Men Him family? Uh, I actually, it's been, you probably noticed that I haven't posted anything within the last couple weeks on the channel here. Um, I'm going to go in and just jump right into it right off the bat here on the vlog. Um, we've been, personal family things have been going on here lately for the last couple weeks, and uh, um, my brother was brought down back to Detroit not too long ago, and um, he's just been he's been really really sick and um you guys know when I, when I like to do vlogs like this you guys um normally I like to stay positive you know and, and try to you know entertain you guys as much as possible you know and not try to focus so negative you know but there are moments where I do feel down you know and um especially off camera you know because my brother he's been battling this sickness for close to a year now and um, hold on a second, you guys, I just gotta, gotta try and stay focused, um, my brother, he means a lot to me, you guys, he's the only older brother that I got, and I've spent, I have known him my entire life since I was an infant, you know, and we've got, we've had, a couple of our moments, you know, but that's so long ago when we were just kids, you know, and, um, him and I have a great bond, you know, and I always find a way, like, whenever he kind of felt down, you know, you know, I always found a way to kind of cheer him a little bit, you know, give him a little chuckle, like, trying to make him something funny for him, you know, to entertain him, and he's a great kid, you know, he's, he's a tough kid, so, um, just keep him your guys' If you guys could do me a favor, you guys, just give him some positive thoughts and prayers for him, you guys. It would really mean a lot to not just me, but to my mom as well, because this has really affected her a lot. And I do not blame her whatsoever for how she feels right now. So, if you're seeing this, Mom, I, I do love you with all my heart, okay? And we I think about Chase a lot every day, whether I'm here at home or even at work, I think about him a lot. So, and... All I can just hope is is that maybe a miracle will happen soon, you guys. So, um, I don't want to be too negative or too down about this vlog. So, I'm going to go ahead and head inside here, you guys. We're going to go ahead and see if we can find a way to cheer us up with something a little bit fun. So, let's go ahead and do it. You guys know that when we were down in Florida, you guys, um, we went on that airboat ride and that little safari park on our last day down there. And we all saw, saw all sorts of amazing animals, you guys. We saw some crocodilians. We saw... Um, some parrots, um, what else was there? There was like a little petting zoo there as well. And there was, like I said, the airboat ride we went on to. And then obviously, the year before that, we went to Gatorland and it was totally a blast. And you guys have seen me, you know, feature alligators before here on, on the channel. And most of them usually are outside of Michigan. But here's something interesting I want to share with you guys. What if I told you an alligator was just discovered in the wild here in Michigan? So for those of you guys that have grown up in the southern part of the U.S., whether if it's like Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, or Florida, you guys obviously are used to seeing gators out there in the wild when there's like a river or a lake or even a pond actually nearby. Um, however though in Michigan, the weather here is nothing like those states down there, you guys. Here in Michigan, it is the middle of the summer. We're like halfway through the month, all halfway through summer up here. And typically, even the summers up here sometimes cannot be very tropical. Sometimes there are some certain days here in Michigan where it could be like literally directly 70 degrees on the on the dot. And alligators, you guys, for example, while they can tolerate cooler temperatures, unlike most crocodilians, the winter months up here in Michigan are very, very harsh. So obviously, somebody either intentionally just dumped this alligator into the river or it's an escaped pet it's one of those two options there it has to be so and then right now as far as i know it has, this gator has not been caught now this isn't the first time an alligator what has been discovered here in michigan you guys um within the last few years actually within the last two three years um some alligators here in michigan have been um been found outside in the, in the wild for very few reasons and some people the locals you know were wondering like how how the heck did it like get there in the first place you know and there's obviously potentially a few explanations obviously one of them it was probably because either it was a, an escaped pet or somebody intentionally just let it go into the wild and said i can't do this i can't take care of it 
And let me tell you guys, though the worst thing to do if you have an exotic pet animal that is not native, whether it's in your state or even in the country, do not turn it over into the wild. That is the worst thing to do. Because not only does it upset the, ba the balance of the native ecosystem, you're also putting other wild animals at risk, you know, that could be potentially easy targets, you know. So it's always best to, the first thing, if I, if I were you guys, if you ever have an exotic pet and if you don't want to take care of it anymore, the best option I would try to do is find the closest zoo near you possible. Because the closest zoo from where we, where we live is about, yeah, it's about an hour drive. So that's not too bad. And it is open to the public. Um, and I have been to this zoo. I've showed you guys the zoo on my vlogs a couple times. And it's actually really nice there. So, but if you can't find a public zoo, if the closest zoo from you is like four hours away, well, that might be a bit much for you. So, one thing you could do is try to look up a local animal sanctuary nearby, you know, because there's tons of animal sanctuaries here in the country, you guys. There's a whole ton of them. And I think there's a few of them nearby here in the UP. I could be wrong, though. So, obviously, this gator um, was not a little gator, you guys, like I mentioned. This gator is about close to five feet long. So this is a good-sized gator, you guys. We're not talking about, like, a hatchling, you know. We're talking about a, an, a decent-sized alligator that can hurt you. It can hurt you, especially a four- or five-foot gator. It could take a good chunk of your hand off if it wanted to, if it grabs a hold of you. So... As far as I know, this gator hasn't been caught, but it has been spotted a couple times down in the town of Albion, Michigan, you guys, which is about three and a half, four hour drive south of here. So that it is very strange that it wandered into this air nature reserve. So, but then again, there is a potential someone probably did dump it there. That's what I'm thinking. Of course, they're probably idiots. So how can we like prevent something like this from happening again? Well. We can't ever prevent it from ever happening again because obviously alligators here in Michigan, you know, they're not illegal to keep you guys. People have kept alligators here in Michigan. I actually know a few people here in Michigan that have used to keep pet an alligator as a pet, you know. And in Michigan, you guys know Michigan is nothing like Florida. Michigan, like during the summertime, like I said, the seasons up here, the summer season, it's very, very short up here. It's only like two, three months most out of the whole year. And the winters up here, they are very brutal. Almost every year they're brutal. And the winter season up here lasts for like five months. Five, six months at most. And obviously, we're just concerned for the animal safety too. Is because winter time is not that far away, you guys. The first snowfall, usually that happens up north here, for example, usually occurs right around mid-late October. And the official winter season for us starts right around, somewhere around like mid-November, late November, somewhere around there. And to literally dump an exotic animal into the wild where it is not even native to is just irrelevant. And this is, could cause some of the locals to be very concerned, you know? Like, obviously there's going to be probably some potential, I hate to say it, you know? What's the word I'm looking for? So people are going to probably try to write a bill or take action to prevent from people getting more pet alligators in Michigan, you know. And I think that's what I'm worried about, you know, because I don't want reptile lovers like me to lose their rights to something that they really can not only care for, but also to educate the public, you know. Because the people that I know, that I currently know that still own an alligator in Michigan, they use their animals as educations, you know, like for education, educating the public, you know, on um, reasons why that alligators don't make good pets and why they can, they are dangerous animals, you know. And obviously, it's, it's really important, you know, education is important. So, obviously, do I think action is going to be taken against people owning alligators in Michigan? I'm hoping not. I pray to, I pray to the Lord it doesn't. Because obviously, every, when I was a little kid, I always wanted to own a pet alligator. I seriously did. I was not even joking. And I was probably like 10, 11 years old, and my mom kind of found it as a joke, you know? And, but I was kind of serious, you know? But then again, an 11-year-old kid owning an alligator is not probably the brightest choice, so. Um, but anyway, pushing that aside, 
Sorry to change the subject on that one, but the point is, like I said, if there's anybody out there that does not want to keep or care an exotic animal anymore, try to reach out to some local sanctuaries nearby or a local zoo that might, would be interested in taking your animal in. I mean, literally, it, it can't be that hard to do, right? Or even write an email, you know? I mean, literally, we have internet, you guys. I mean, literally, the internet is like a big source for our for our generation, so. But let me know what you guys think in the comments on on this story, you know, because I there are a few articles on about this gator story that popped up, so. And like I said, the gator hasn't been caught yet, um, but hopefully it will be caught um, eventually. Unfortunately, I hate to say it, but if, if it is caught, it's probably gonna be euthanized, so. Um, but I hope it's not, so. But nonetheless, though, I wanna hear what your guys' thoughts are on this story that just happened, so. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and actually just get a few bit of snake work done. Alright, so I'm about to feed my girl Lucy here, everybody. And I just now noticed, I didn't even realize that until now, her eyes are going opaque, oh, meaning she's going in blue. So, I'm not sure if she's gonna eat, because today is feeding day for her, but... I mean, she's looking at me, she's thinking maybe I do have food, so... I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and see if she takes it. If she's not interested, then we'll go ahead and actually offer it to somebody else, so... Hopefully you actually are hungry, girl, because I literally cannot waste this stuff, okay? Go prende? Alright. Alright, baby girl. You ready? I wonder if she can even see it. Probably not. Come on, girl. You down there? Yeah, I don't think she can see it down there. Yeah, I don't think she notices it. Let's try this side. Well, I think she's starting to notice it. Oh yeah, she definitely notices it now. Oh yeah, she can totally smell it. Come and get it, girl. And, yep. She actually takes it. Shocking, right? <laughs> like I said, I wasn't sure she was going to take it, but she decided that she didn't care. She's definitely taking it. All right, everybody, that's just going to wrap it up for the vlog today, you guys. So, again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, do me a favor, you guys, and please, please pray for my brother, everybody, because... Literally, we don't know how much longer he's got, so, um, my mom has been through a lot here, everybody, and, um, I'm trying to do everything I can, you know, to help her. If she needs my help with something to help with Chase, I will do it, you guys, and, um, because he's my only, only older brother that I got, you guys. I've grew up my whole life with him, you know, since I was a toddler, so, um, I'm just hoping, you know, a miracle will happen at some point, you know, so... Again, seriously, you guys, please pray for him, and, um, like I said, and hopefully a miracle will happen, and he will get better very soon, so, um, and do me a favor, you guys, go in the comments and say a beautiful prayer for him, please, it would really help us, so, um, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, everybody, so, hope we'll see you guys in the next one.